Good morning, everybody. I'm waving Exhibit A. Had some breezes last night as that cold front came through up here in Hazeldale and really across the area. I checked, though, and the wind gusts, the peak in the valley, seemed to be only in the 30s, so it wasn't any big deal, but a little bit of debris to be picked up in my yard this morning. All right, we had uh, Scafoos picking up nearly half of an inch of rain. The rest of the metro hill is closer to about a quarter of an inch of rain. And right now, 835 on this Wednesday, starting off scattered showers, cloudy and chilly. It's around 50 degrees. And get this, if we fail to hit 60, meaning if our high temperature today out at the airport is only in the 50s, it will be the first time since May 29th, when it was only 56 degrees, that we have not made it to 60. So this could be the coolest day in a long time. I'm forecasting 60 degrees on the nose, so we'll see if we hit it or not. Satellite imagery page, if you go to it, you can see the spinning circulation of that low pressure system. The infrared picture or the um, water vapor imagery, imagery both show it quite well. So as that pushes inland today, we're going to keep the clouds to chilly temperatures. Remember, lows this time of the year are often the center point of some of the coldest air. It's true that you can get a big high coming down that's Arctic air, but also lows can be the center point of chilly air. That's what's happening today. As this pushes inland, we'll continue to see scattered showers. Any sun breaks that we get will fuel the possibility of spotty downpours and also the possibility of some thunderstorms. At this hour, there are some lightning strikes, but mostly along the central and southern Oregon coastline. So they're, they're out there, and we may get a, a rumble of thunder today. Once we get past today, we get into the next couple of days and the quieter weather is still on track. This flow pattern brings a couple chunks of some moisture in. One uh, flow pattern shows tomorrow morning, another one Friday morning. So I'm saying maybe there's a light shower Thursday morning, maybe there's a light shower Friday morning, but overall the next couple of days look to be dry. Have a super Wednesday. Thanks for using this website. I hope you tell your friends about it. And I hope if you have a smartphone, you save rothillforecast.com as a favorite and start using the mobile site. It will automatically launch to your phone. It's as easy as that. I will talk to you soon.